much in common with these guys. They talk and they talk and nobody really hardly understands them. And uh, that's been me for a couple of years. I have been connecting dots and now I connect dots for all the atheists, all the unbelievers in the world, all the uh, all people of the world, regardless of what you are or who you are is not important. In this hour, it is foretold that one from the north would come forth with teeth uh, that would be like a shredder to shred all, up all distortional bullshit of religion so that the world can finally get along as one. Now, this is not welcomed by religion. It's against the rules to have revelation of revelation. And how in the hell are you going to restore all things, as the Bible says, without it? Matthew uh, 17, uh, 11. And so in this hour, it is time that I get real with all the unbelievers in the world who have been far smarter than the religious people in many ways. They refuse to believe there's a wrathful, angry God out there just waiting to zap us all. And this has always been total fiction. The Bible does not lay that out at all. Uh, now there is a veil that will be removed from this latter day mountain, Isaiah 25 foretold, covered with food, spiritual food. But that veil uh, that has been hiding the truest truth of God's unconditional love for us, it is now apparent in the latter day hour because God has given his covenant now to all mankind, the everlasting covenant of his everlasting gospel. So these are the days of Elijah, the days of one who has uh, a tongue that is... Uh, uh, the Bible says in Isaiah 28, one with stammering, shocking lips, one uh, scorned with anger and uh, mocking uh, as the original Elijah did. The original Elijah would say to the others that weren't of his tribe, what's the matter, is your God on the toilet? Is he too busy to come and uh, prove himself? And so in this hour, uh, I, for t t as foretold, I've come forth to tell the world that especially Christianity has a false God, false Jesus, false religion, false, false. Why? Because they do not have the God of the Bible. You see, when God says, I am the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that means he's on their side. He loves them, won't do nothing but bless them as much as he can. But that's been eliminated from modern faith because uh, the truth is that the God of the Bible declares, I am the Lord God of all mankind, which means exactly the same thing, that he's on all of our side. He's never hated us at all. As a matter of fact, he doesn't just love us. He absolutely adores us. So I congratulate all the um, atheists in this world for not believing in a wrathful God. It's insane to uh, be afraid and fear God as most people believe that we're supposed to because he's love. What's there to fear about love? And so everything is twisted. So in this hour, I come forth as one who is scorned, one who has stammering, shocking lips. And if you don't believe me, you just might by the end of this video. Because I am Captain R, don't you know? And I can put on my pirate hat. And just like Mr. Rogers out there, I can tell the little kitties, hey, guess what? It's time to love your parents with unconditional love. Don't love them with the kind of love that's if or but. Because if we do, it's not even love at all. It's phony love. So I tell the kids that we must get along with one another. And I tell them, R, Captain R, uh, says, are you ready for that? Are you willing? Are you able? I hope you guys are going to be willing to be pirates of the treasure of excellence, the love that God has given all people. But in this hour, I'm friggin' upset to the point where I don't give a damn if I say a few uh, uh, four-letter words. 
But one thing for sure, uh, for everyone that has not been a believer in the, the phony gospel of this world, uh, get ready to blast off. Please like and share these videos uh, because there's nothing but blessing for all the humanity that would come out of them if anybody paid any attention. So I shall be right, right back. My hero. Time to go to the beach with the minions. But in order to get anything out of this program or any giving knowledge, we must dive in deep. If we don't dive in, we're not going to have nothing good to show for our time at the beach. So do as he does. So get ready. Get set. It is time to stop being scared of love. <laughs> it's absolutely insane thing to be doing. So welcome. And uh, it's time to hold our glory gun like a, a pistol. Get ready to shoot them up. So in this hour of love's greatest power, I come to you as one who has scorned lips. And that's why I made a video yesterday, fucking this, fucking that, fuck, fuck, fuck. And people just do not believe prophecy. And uh, this is criminal in this world. Uh, because I've never found any Christians, Muslims, anyone who believes in any prophecy at all. So unto them, God says, fuck you. <laughs> he says, I got a diary of shit done, crap pie, Malachi 2, for all standing in the way of uh, his peacefulness with their bullshit religion. So let's get on with that noise. 